Yo, so we're here to try uh, our first sponsored product real quick. This is the Leopard Effect by Armone Music Official. Yeah, he gave us this shit at uh, one of the events that we were at last night. And we're about to try this, so first taste test. What is this? Drink, by the way, so... This, this is 150 proof, so this will get you fucked up for sure. Can you open it Yeah, no, I need someone strong. Wait, what the fuck? How did you do this? Okay. Alright, so taste test. I'm gonna drink half and then he'll drink another half. Try it. What do you think? Bro, that shit's strong. I approve. It is strong. It tastes good though. It just made me drink. Yeah, and then we're about to see how hard it hits in a bit, but yeah. Check them out. We'll go ahead and put their info in the description and everything. So yeah, appreciate you uh, handing over this product. And if y'all want anything like to promote or anything like that on a podcast, go ahead and just hit us up, email us at capturethepeople at gmail.com and we'll go ahead and like, you know, promote this shit for sure. Bro, you know that monkey pox shit, it can tr be transferred through mosquitoes. No, we can't. Yeah, shit. It's no, that's fake that. news. That's, that's Wait, how we're starting like, this one off. We're that? starting this yeah, off bro. with fake news. Fake news, yeah. I do yeah. not have monkey pox. Capture the People podcast here with some dope ass people. Um, we got Astronomical, Yo. dopest DJ so far. And then Yo, Tell the People Rito 3K. This is the Twizzy right here for Astro. Yeah, that's my you know. that's fucking Rito 3K. He, he does everything, bro. He does film photographies he's shooting some crazy shit right now make sure to tap in he does production engineering beats all that shit. everything everything hell yeah we just scratching the bro surface. your shirts like the ones that you guys are wearing they're crazy bro he got them for us like for real like i just i just came they're back really home twinning. and he just got these <laughs> they're twin they're really yeah. <laughs> this twin is, is y'all say y'all twin but we no Twin. We're twins, <laughs> like. <for real. laughs> we twin titans. Okay. Okay. So when did? How long have you all known each other? What, like 2015, right? Yeah, since yeah. 2015. So it's been yeah. Seven years. Seven years. Damn. Damn. <laughs> I keep forgetting that we're all the way in 2022 now. I know. Oh, that's I'm crazy. So fast. Yeah, Hell yeah, so. for sure. And then before the podcast, we were talking about you guys went to college together, right? That's mm -hmm. how you met. Yeah, you want to tell them like how that was? Story. So we just went to we just went to Georgia State. This shit was uh he says it was twenty sixteen. I thought it was twenty fifteen. <laughs> I swore it was twenty fifteen. No, I think it's twenty sixteen. Okay, so it might have been twenty sixteen. I'm walking into class and I'm the last one in there. And I am high as fuck. And I'm just like looking at all these people. I'm late as shit. And I'm like, I just I just see his computer, he got Supreme stickers on it and shit. And I was just like, damn, I'm gonna go sit next to him. And this motherfucker was watching Thrasher videos every <laughs> single day in class. I would just sit next to him and I was, I was just start asking him for an earbud at first. I was like, bro, please, just like, <laughs> let me listen to this shit too. And uh, next thing you know, like I figured, I found out he made music and shit. I made music and from there, bro, like we just started cooking up in class. We started, we got in trouble for that shit. That shit was so funny, bro. We got, uh, we cooked up in the library all the time. Wait, what we happened when you guys got yelled at in class? Man, that shit was hilarious, bro. One time we were in math class, bro. Or <laughs> it was accounting. Accounting class, bro. Accounting it was crazy, 2101. bro. This accounting shit, 2101. Like 200 plus people there. That and we're like shit. just chilling, just in the corner, just making beats. And then all of a sudden, the teacher just starts honing in on us. And they're, she's like, she's like, no. Y'all gotta keep it down. And we're like, oh, we're sorry. <laughs> we're sorry. We're sorry. Wait, were you just playing them off the. Nah, dude, no, we had we headphones were, in, but we were tweaking on each fuck? other because shit was, was fine. Shit. Yo, like, we thought we, we were just crazy. had that shit on the headphones mm -hmm. for real. Like, and we were just like laughing and shit. Yeah, we were like, oh, yeah, like, put the bro. shit on there. Put the shit on there. And then. <laughs> yeah, she just called man. us out, bro. That shit was crazy. Yeah, so sorry, everyone, Georgia State. Bro. That shit was like 150 people. That shit was Yeah, kind of it was a busy class. What the fuck? So. How is that like, you know, producing and cooking beats up together? Man, it's like it, for me, like, it's it's spiritual. It's, it's, I'm I'm working with my with my bro. That's my that's my my, my yeah. real life bro. My other half for real. Like it's just great, bro. Like every time, like it doesn't matter where we are. We made music in every bedroom. You know, we hung. We made music in every single fucking uh fucking closet. You know, we made music in fucking libraries. You know. 
we made music Damn. all over the place and it's just yeah. crazy every time it doesn't matter shit's where natural when working with astro like it's also like making music with people is like fun but like making music with astro is just like he already knows what i want to do before i say it and that's the best thing it's like we're working so harmoniously that shit just sounds so beautiful off the bat that r nothing really needs like in-depth tweaking rather than oh yeah let's just level this throw some like flavor on that bada boom but with him it's just like it's the best like i don't know it's i feel like because we low-key came out prior like the rap shit like doing the same yeah. like digging the same music yeah you know yeah. like it wasn't just oh yeah we fought with rap but we fuck with Metal. So yeah, we yeah. Met, like, like metal too, dude. Bro. We like yeah. bonded over the same metal bands and shit. Like, it's not just rap music at the end of the day. It's just him and I as BFFs. No, like bro. that level of what is it? Sync, sync, in sync, Syn like synchronization. Yeah, man. that <laughs> that fucking word right there. That level of that uh -huh. like allows us to work at a different pace and different angle no, than real. other collaborations can mm, for real. look at us that's cool so do you uh, guys got the same shirt on i don't think so no they don't no i don't think so yeah, not this <laughs> why you're nice that's what we want to start calling you right <laughs> why you're nice <laughs> Fucking, uh, no i was gonna say uh what's the biggest project that you guys worked on like man numbers we wise, still we still working on our collab tape for real that shit coming out we just like waiting for it to be right like we just keep meeting new people and like we just keep like it just keeps looking different almost every single month i swear to god like the list of people like we want on this tape just keeps changing so like we just want it to be perfect because you know like it's gonna start like a saga of tapes like it's gonna start like so this is, this is gonna be like a thousand tapes you know so we just want the first one the foundation to be perfect like we kind of like perfectionists that's why we don't like to release a lot of shit we don't like to i don't know we like to make sure everything is like where it needs to be before we present it to people so that's how this tape is going to be it's going to be perfect once it's come out once it comes out like i guarantee everyone this is going to be worth the wait because we've been working on this shit forever but once it comes out it's gonna it's, they're gonna know why why we've been waiting for real yeah i know in two, two episodes ago you were talking about that heavy with mm -hmm. with tyler fucking J. that shit i mean i'm really excited for that just because i know how many people you have on the team yeah it's gonna be probably like 20 tracks of just like and it's, it's not gonna be people, no though? it's not gonna be any filler like it's no bullshit artists like no one's gonna pay to get on this shit like mm -hmm. it's like like this, this is like a true Mm -hmm. True curation, yeah, yeah. That's dope. That's dope. So as far as uh, producing, and um, do you guys engineer together as well? Or yeah, I, I, I engineer. Uh, shout out uh, Studio One Nine Four. I work there a lot. Um, I engineer, and they kind of taught me how to engineer because whenever I first I first started, we first started getting people on our beats, and we first started coming and recording people and shit. I didn't know how to engineer. So him and A-Wake kind of taught me. Shout out A-Wake, that's our bro. Um, but they kind of taught me how to engineer and they gave me a lot of templates and a lot of shit. So everything I know is really bait because of them for real. And like a lot of my first songs that we did, like they were all recorded by them and engineered by them. So that shit is just wild. Like how, how much everyone is just like moving forward and like how much like everyone's like playing into like engineering now too because it's not just them anymore it's like everyone pitching in on it yeah yeah dope dope hell yeah man i mean do you also dj bro oh no not yet. no i've, I've been okay. wanting to so just wait on it cool cool how was your last event though djing uh it was straight it was a step boy show um shout out him that show was, that was friday right yeah yeah um the cool show was the show before that the cash dami show that shit was fire cash dami show yeah, yeah I've that seen happened some videos of that, that happened after like we did the tyler shit yeah and, yeah since then so that was that one was fire yeah everything went super super well with that um that was my that was the most fun i've had too like djing and shit for real because like we were on a we we're a club digital 
So it was like, I don't know. It was my first time, like, for real, like, at a venue like that. Mm -hmm. Like, that was a high caliber venue. So that shit was, that shit was fun. We were, like, fucking around before. We were just, like, playing music and shit. And, like, I don't know, just chilling. This, shit was this dude is the first dude ever to play Drain Gang inside Club Digital. Let that be known. Uh, for, for the record, Blade, this dude bro. played some Blade Drainers. at Club Digital. Shout out Sydney, too. She's here. Biggest drainer in the world. Right there. <laughs> That's yeah. funny. So I guess uh, that was a Dark Envy event, right? Yeah, that shit was Dark Envy. Yeah. Shout out um, Jared, and that was Madi's event too. Shout out him, um, and shout out Lucci. And London too, because like, London really like, that's how I met all of them and shit. So like London really like, for me at least, that's how like um, I met everyone in Dark Envy and shit. And I, I started, I met Madi and shit. So he's kind of like my, my link to Dark Envy and shit, and he's the reason, like, I, I've been able to do all the shows and shit, and I'm blessed to do all that shit, that shit fire, so really shout out London, because, like, he's really putting this shit together for at least me being there, you know, mm -hmm. so shout out him. Yeah, yeah, Dark Envy is cool as fuck, mm -hmm. um, but is there any other, like, organizations that you work with, too, or... Man, or are you just like DJing for them right now? Um, I kind of like I'm my own DJ. I mean, I'm really Tyler J. Tyler fucking J's DJ. Shout yeah. out her, Tyler J, the biggest artist in the world. Um, the one, not the two. Um, <laughs> but I'm really mainly her DJ. So I'm I'm just DJing whatever shows yeah. she just go she goes to, and for the Dark Envy, like that started off as me because like London wanted me to DJ and shit just because like you know they didn't have a dj and shit and like london knows me and like I, he wanted me to dj for him type shit too so um yeah no i'm still gonna be you know working with them and shit and working with i don't know whoever wants to work for real like i'm always down to work with people you know mm -hmm. like i mean i charge and shit but <laughs> i mean everyone does everyone needs to like charge for their art and shit you gotta make your money one way or another exactly like everyone needs to, like this is this is serious like this is you know how people make a living and shit this mm -hmm. is how i make a living you know yeah, so yeah. everyone needs to like be serious about themselves and like set a price for your shit you know? mm -hmm. so I, I believe in that but now I'm, I'm really down to work with whoever i i love um i love all the organizations and shit this shit was about to blow this is about to fly away hold on let me put a stake in one of them <laughs> i would love to work with rare house though rare house yeah that shit was fine they did a producer showcase there Shaking knees. Don't didn't they do like one of them like I don't know. out here or some shit? I don't. No, I honestly I don't, don't know. know where Music Midtown even is. Oh, you've never heard of it? No, I mean I've heard uh, of it. I heard I, about it. I've last never year. been to Music Midtown. I've been to Party in the Park. Yeah. Um, that was they only had two of those, so I went to the first one oh, in 2015. Okay. And I, I've never been to Shaky Knees or Shaky Beats. Mm -hmm. The other like isn't that the yeah, it, one? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Um, for sure. Damn, bro. Oh shit. Switch, switching topics, I guess. Mm -hmm. What's the most <laughs> fucked up you've ever been during a DJ set? Man, definitely. Probably when I was DJing for Color Rush 1. But man, at 6 Agency, man, I was so drunk. That shit was... Can you even DJ at, at a certain point? Or do you like... Just Bro, well, what, what happened was like I was drunk and I, was, I had to go to the bathroom because I had to go puke and shit. So I was literally gonna walk off. I had like said it to some shit. 
and I had tripped over my cable and unplugged my computer and everyone was kind of walking out anyways but I just turned off my computer and it just it just kind of like I still had to go to the bathroom and shit but I just came back and like people were like leaving and shit it still ended on time and everything so like nobody was tripping but like man yeah I was I was drunk as shit that day fuck I hate being fucked up trying to DJ that shit was yeah how was that yesterday I was really fucked up that shit, um, it, it, it can it can work sometimes, but sometimes it can be like, you know, it can suck sometimes. Yeah. You start seeing double, you're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck it. That's when you just open sometimes. up Spotify. And but put, for like, real, it's like lighting. impossible to DJ without. Mm, I'm sorry. I, I'm not promoting anything. But nah, it's of course. hard to DJ without being fucked up. Yeah. Like that shit, you know, you're standing there and everyone else is partying and getting fucked up. And it's just like, damn. I want to do that shit too. Yeah. <laughs> no, for sure, for sure. No, yeah. I mean, I think every almost every DJ that I know, like they mm. so, they they either smoke or they they drink. No, nah, some DJs are weird though. Like a lot of the DJs, like especially like main. I'm really talking about like the EDM DJs, like the big EDM DJs. They're weird. What do you mean? In what way? They're like predators. They do like some weird. They what? do some weird shit. Like look, look them all up, bro. Like they're all weird, bro. Like be, they just be weird with their fans and shit, underage girls, like all that shit, bro. Like all what that shit the is just fuck? weird. Bro. I didn't know about that. Bro, it's like one of them, one of the big ones too. Like is it? It's like that sick? No, it's excision. Oh really? Excision. Yeah, look I've his shit up. Like you got like, bro. That's know. fucking crazy. Never want to work with those people in my life. I used to oh. listen to them, but then I heard about all that shit. Never want to work with them. I don't care, bro. That's do you do do you, do you DJ EDM a lot or no? Uh, I never DJed EDM. I used to like that's what I started doing before anything. I was DJing EDM shit, just like chilling. Mm-hmm. And I used to hang out with this one dude, um, Antonio, and we used to go to his basement, and he had like a vinyl collection, and he would do like vinyl DJing. Oh shit! But he listened to like a lot of like old head music. Yeah. Shit. So like, I was like into EDM and shit. Not, I mean, I like that music and shit, but like, I just don't really listen to it for real. So, yeah. Um, but I don't know. We, I, I was like an EDM DJ at first, and I never, I've never like in person DJed like a rave or anything mm-hmm. or like an EDM event. I've just like fucked around and done that shit, you know. Yeah. Bro, it seems like you're really busy, and I know there's like a stereotype for DJs where their sleep schedules are all fucked up. Yeah, like, I don't sleep. I really don't. Really? No. How much do you think you get like every night, average? Man, I wake up at, it doesn't matter like what, I wake up at 9 o'clock every day. Like, it doesn't matter what time I was up mm-hmm. the night before or anything. Like, like Why? I usually, just because like I'm always up in the morning. Like, I, you need to be up in the morning. Like, if you want to be successful, for real, like, if you want to do some shit for real, like, you have to wake up. Yeah. You have to, like, wake up every single day on time and just be ready to, like, move. Mm-hmm. It doesn't, I know people don't like that shit. People think, oh, I, they don't like waiting and waking up that early or whatever. But you got to be patient and you also got to be ready. Like, you got to be, like, up every day. Yeah. Like, and that's, I hear that from, like, everyone. Like, I know a lot of people. You know, shout out like Pepito and Sleepy Rose. Like I know, I know a lot of people that are like signed and in the industry and established, and that's like the first thing they'll tell you is just like wake up on time every yeah. day. You know. Damn. That's is that a struggle for you or no? No. Not at all. Was Not it at first? Up. No. Not always. I've always been. Cause like my thing is that once my brain, like once I get those first few thoughts going, like I just, I just won't stop. Like my brain. Yeah. Just keep going. But yeah, no, I be, I begin probably. Four or five hours, maybe. Damn, oh, damn what the you fuck? be in nothing. Yeah. Do you drink lots of energy drinks and shit? No, I don't like, no. no. Those shits make you way more tired. Mm-hmm. Water. Because you crash. Yeah, water. That's all you need. At least water. Because all that does is the sugar, and then that's good for like five minutes, mm-hmm. and then you'll like feel like shit for the rest of the night, and then fall asleep. Yeah. After you crash. Yeah. So, that's all you need is good water. Just good water? Mm-hmm. You don't even drink coffee? No. What the fuck? Damn, what the no, fuck? Coffee, no. I mean, I, I like know. I like coffee, like, but I drink it as, like, a dessert. Like, I'm yeah, just like, yeah. I, I, want, I want a coffee today. I don't wake up and, like... You want a coffee? No, I don't wake up. Bro, I feel like we're coffee. addicted to energy drinks. No, I think I'm like, addicted to coffee. If anything. You drink coffee a lot? Damn near every day. Every time I stop at the gas, I have to get me an energy drink, bro. <laughs> nah. What's your go-to? The white monster. Like the zero calorie 
doing. See, I used to be that way too. I used to drink energy drinks and soda every day. I still drink a lot of soda. Yeah, but, me too. Um, yeah, not drink a lot of soda. What happened? What made you want to change? No, like, I just I just started getting really tired mm -hmm. all the time, and I was like, man, I'm like 20. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like 21. This was like you know back. And I'm just like I'm just getting tired all the time. I, I don't like that. Like I'm I'm in my 20s. I should be you know. As he takes this episode, not of. napping right <laughs> now, <laughs> Ruby. <laughs> That's crazy. No, but on top of that, I like you're also producing a lot and you're engineering a lot. That's adding on to your schedule. So like, are you working as soon as uh, you wake up? Or? That's like my main thing though. My main thing is producing for real. Like my yeah. my DJing is going a lot better right now. Like I think and like it's getting me outside a lot more. But my main thing is producing. So I'm always yeah. like no matter what, like making beats. Mm -hmm. Like no matter what, like, and that's my first priority. Like before anything, before anything gets done, I don't care. Like I have to make my beats, like for the day. How many it's, beats do you make a day? I I used to I used to be crazy. I used to just make like probably like five, six, seven a day, and like I don't know, maybe now like one or two, just cause like I don't know. Like I know a lot of people now, like, and. I know how to get my beats to sound a certain way to mm -hmm. where I can just make one or two and I know they'll get used. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I used to just make beats and they used to just be garbage, mm -hmm. you know, and I would just try to show them to people and that shit was just a waste of time. Now, whenever I try to make a beat, I try to make it make sense. I'm like, if I'm going to work on this beat, if I'm going to finish this beat, like it needs to, it needs to go to somebody. Yeah. Like it needs to, yeah. I don't like, I don't like just having like a ton of weird beats sitting and just like, yeah, some garbage beats. Yeah, you're just being efficient now, mm -hmm. I guess. Plus, you have more time to focus on two songs versus having to worry about ten. Well, no, it takes forever. Yeah. Like, now, like, making two beats takes... Ooh, that shit takes forever. Like, yeah. And, you know, it takes longer to make beats now. Dude, nah, but you can have more time to, like, do, mm -hmm. like... Because you're only doing two a day. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, I'll try to make as many as I want, but, like, my goal is to at least make two. Yeah. Like if I make two every day, like that's like just just like my my personal goal. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Um, Any more than that is bonus. As far as like marketing yourself and like mm -hmm. doing that shit, like, do you have any advice you want to tell to other producers? Man, everyone needs to go outside. <laughs> go outside. Yeah. Yeah. But you it's said like you're an insider, so like, like how go did you? Outside. Huh? Like you, you said you're kind of like an insider because you're a producer, but like how did you get outside man, in the beginning? Man, because he dragged me everywhere. <laughs> this man would yeah. be like, oh, like, uh, man. Yeah. And I what do you like, mean? I, and what I, do you mean by get outside? Like go to events? He like, would just he would just take me to so many places. He would take me to Closet. He would take mm -hmm. me to fucking I don't know, like these shows and shit. He took me to Bear One Boss show. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know who he was. All this shit. He took me to like shows at like. I don't know, all over the place. And I, he just started meeting people and he started introducing me to people and shit. So, like, really, and he, like, I don't know. It was it was cool because, like, I never, like, I, I've always just sat, you know, at my house mm -hmm. and made beats and shit. I never wanted to leave the house, but, like, it's not realistic. Like, that that's not, you have to meet people. Yeah. And you have to, like, shake hands and you no, have yeah. to, like, go to the studio and, for a producer, like, you have to learn how to engineer because, like, nobody's going to get on your beats if you send them to their email. You have to pull up on people, and if, if you're just starting, like, literally pull up on people and record them and engineer them on your beat mm -hmm. if you want placements. Like, that's that's what it, that's that's how it has to be. Like, you literally have to leave your house, yeah, like, to make this shit work. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, cool. No, yeah, that's a big piece of advice, especially for people who, like, find it hard to network because i feel like you can be going out a lot too but if you're not going out to the right places like mm. you're really just kind of wasting your oh, time oh and i know i know plenty of people who like who have blown up staying inside and like not going outside and not going to events and everything but everyone has to understand that that's their path like and that that works for certain people but it's not going to work for like 99 percent of 99.99 percent of people yeah like you really need to you need to put hunger. yourself out there because at the end of the day it's not you're not just selling your music you're selling yourself as a brand mm -hmm. and if people don't know what the brand is then why would they why would they even listen why would they click mm -hmm. you know so if you're putting yourself out there marketing yourself as hey dude let's let's work I'm, I'm down to do it if you are or like look like just show just show up and let people know who you are and what your business is and what the fuck you're doing 
And if you do it in the right way, like true to yourself and confidently, people will understand that you're about this shit and they'll fuck with you. Yeah. And, and they'll pay you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You got to know what you're worth mm -hmm. and you got to know your fi. Yeah. Two things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's Simple. it. Yeah. So, what do you mainly produce on right now? Like, what programs? Uh, FL Studio, uh, Twenty, and uh, I used to. I started on Ableton Ten, um, and I engineer vocals on Pro Tools, HD Ten. Bro, how long did it? Take? All those programs are old as fuck. Yeah, but how how long did it take for you to even learn how to use that shit? Man, I just started using Pro Tools. I'm not even gonna lie. I will not lie to you, you guys. Um, just started using that shit. Um, and FL, I kind of started using that mm, in like 2014, 2015. And Ableton, I started using that in like 2013, 2012 type shit. Like I used Ableton forever. Yeah. yeah. But you're with Pro Tools because what you feel like that's the best one to use. Oh, for engineering vocals? No, it's not. It, it's it's probably not even the best. It's just like it's about marketing. Like you know, like when you go to the studio, like when people are paying you to record, they want to like see Pro Tools on the screen. So that's why I tell everyone, like even if you can record on FL Studio or or Logic or anything, learn Pro Tools if you want to be like competitive and like work at like you know higher end studios and shit like you got to know how to do pro tools because it's like it's about security it's like you know you, you see the you see the uh apple logos on the computers and shit you see pro tools on the screen you're like okay this shit's gonna sound good you know mm -hmm. like it's comfortable it's like a comfort thing like yeah it's like an industry standard it's an industry yeah. standard yeah. yeah yeah you gotta you gotta know how to do that and that's why i was struggling because like i was i was mixing on fl studio and shit and i was trying to get people to pay for that and people were like i'm not gonna pay for FL Studio, even I'm though sure it it's like the good. same thing with like Red Chord and in, in DJ and Serato. Yeah, it's, like, it's, it's, it's not gonna pull up and, and pull out Red Chord. It's just like, bro, what? Yeah, it's it's gotta be it's gotta be Serato. So when yeah. people look at the screen, it's like, yeah. oh, okay, I know this. Like yeah. this shit's gonna be fire. Like you know, I know I know this program. Mm -hmm. Like I've seen this on the screen that's before. Familiar. Yeah, it's like people are familiar with it, and yeah. that's that's important. You know, that's dope. That's mm -hmm. dope. So like, I know we talked about a little bit of um about this i guess last episode with tyler but uh like do you do you have anything other than what you're doing right now planned for the future like are you trying to do something else man i'm trying to uh just start hosting songs more and dropping songs more on my page but not not specifically not necessarily my songs just songs i think are fi or maybe even i don't know but just uh, yeah, I want to start hosting songs on my page. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start doing shit with that, like doing more like a SoundCloud DJ sh uh, route, I guess. And um, still working on the tape. I know I keep saying that, but it's gonna be good. And I'm working on a tape with Tyler too. Actually, I'm about to drop that shit on my page, um, probably in a month. Oh shit! It's gonna yeah. be small. It's gonna be like three songs, but I want it to sound. It's gonna sound perfect. Oh yeah. Is there anything upcoming that you want to tell the people like that you're gonna uh, like do any shows that Man, you're DJing for? Right now, I'm not booked for any shows. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm just chilling right now. Um, I'm gonna step my shows up though. Like the next one, I'll get booked for. I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna be very picky about shows now. Like even even though people want to pay and shit, like I'm gonna still be very picky because of, like. I have, I have some issues with how a lot of shows are being ran, are run right now, and like I'm, I'm friends with a lot of promoters, I'm friends with a lot of people running shows, but like still like I have a lot of issues with those shows, um, simply because like I'm the DJ and I gotta deal with the people who get their sets cut. Who it's frustrating, bro. It's annoying. Yeah, it's annoying. And, and you got those other random people coming up that are trying to like, yo, let me give you twenty to perform. Like, no, bro, this is a closed show. I just told you. And um. It's just like everything. Everything needs to be like, if, and that's why I liked Club Digital because I was able to <coughs> pull up, plug an aux cord in, and that shit sounded amazing. Mm -hmm. It was no like assembly. It was no like anything. Like you know, like this. People are asking for some crazy shit at these shows right now, and I don't know. I'm 
not a fan of it just because I'm I'm a fan of people like coming to shows and I know people like spend money on shows and shit like people buying tickets and shit for these shows like and if anything goes wrong people aren't getting reimbursed you know so yeah. things have to go things have to go smooth if people want to throw shows and shit like I know it's a good idea and people can make money off of it but it needs to be ran professionally you know for sure for sure but um I, guess I know y'all are gonna do that with your next show though oh, that yeah. shit is bro you should crazy. come to our party I know I've been I need to bro I was trying to come out to the last one but I had it's free yeah. this time yeah. too it's gonna be I just seen y'all posted that flyer today yeah. I seen that today yeah, yeah bro free. it's a free true. event we're trying to just have a party vibe with some oh, small sets in between bro bro y'all know crazy. we're gonna go crazy oh yeah pull up pull up but I guess I mean is there anything else you want to tell the people your fans anybody watching man Thank y'all again for having me. Y'all did Hell my first yeah. interview. Y'all did my second interview. So shout out to you guys for real. Thank you, Rita, for being here. <clears throat> Thank you, Sydney. She was off camera the whole time. Tip. Um, shout out God. Uh, he's the king. Um, shout out Tyler. Daniel, Ari, um, Pepito. Sorry, I'm high. Sleep. Ja. A wake, <laughs> A wake. Um, oh, Camp Circadia. Wait, wait. Camp Circadia. Camp Circadia. He's in LA. He's he's Love busy you. doing beautiful things right now. Always busy doing the most beautiful Shit. things. And Tyler, fucking Jay, again, the one, not the two. Shouts out all of them for sure. Appreciate you coming on this one, man. For real. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah, you too, man.